are kicking off wedding season and brides to be are looking for their wedding dresses and also the decor. We have got two great options for you. We have bridal designer Haley Page joining us this morning with some of the trends that we're seeing this season and also different dresses for different body types. And we also have from Simple Country Weddings, we have Ramona Arnold and uh, Simple Country Weddings and Vintage Decor, our 2015 KCRA 3 A list winner. So thanks for being here. You decorated this. We're going to talk to you about that in just a moment so brides can get ready to decorate their wedding day. But it always starts with the dress and saying yes to the dress. Haley, thanks for being here. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the top trends that you're seeing and the dresses that you brought for different body types. Absolutely. Well, today I brought four different dresses mm -hmm. and I wanted to go through each one and explain what type of body shape might be great for each dress. Mm -hmm. So the first look is um, Roxanne. And I I would say this is for the skinny mini or the girl that is a little bit less flat in the bust area because what this does and lacks in bodice you make up for in sparkle. Um, it's got a great neckline, a lot of accenting detail there and it creates mm -hmm. a nice little shape for your décolletage. Okay and then I also notice it's uh, not white not even off-white. It's a different color. Is that a right. new trend? Right. Yes, it is. This is what we call our alabaster color, mm. um, and it's a lovely combination of subdued purple, blush, and an ivory overlay. So you kind of get this iridescent effect that's really cool in pictures. What skin tones? What skin tones work best for this? Honestly, this looks great on everyone. It's mm. great for girls that have a little bit of red in their skin, or if they're very pale, and you could also go all the way into the olives and the darker skin tones. Looks mm -hmm. great on everyone. Okay, now let's move to the striped dress. And again, not seeing white. Right, exactly. This is a, what we call our novelty factor dress because mm -hmm. she's got that unique and chic stripe accent, which I love. It's just a very different, fresh look. Um, and I would actually recommend this for a girl that's a little bit shorter. A lot of times I have girls coming in afraid to go for a ball gown because they're like, I'm going to look like a cupcake. I'm so petite. Uh, but it's all about proportion. So for this one, it's really on point. It cinches in the waist and it's not too overwhelming. The skirt. I like it a lot. It is beautiful. And the third dress that you brought, very vintage as well. Yes, this is our Houston dress, and I would recommend this for a girl that's maybe a little more pear shaped. Um, the flow of the skirt is really subtle and it grazes the hips in a nice way. And then on the bodice, you have this great wrapped drape um, and a lot of sparkle, so it's constantly bringing the eyes up to the girl's face. Um, and you know, everybody loves a little sparkle. Everyone loves sparkle, especially on your wedding day. Now, if you're pear shaped and short, can you wear this? Absolutely. This is easy to hem, too, so you definitely want to think about alterations and how the dress will really look on you for that day. So. Okay, I love it. That's a lot of nice detail. And then the final dress that you brought us this morning, kind of a mermaid look. Yes, um, this is what I call the elongated bodice. Um, mm -hmm. It's a fit to flare, and I would recommend this for the curvaceous and bodacious bride. Um, anyone that wants to show off that really beautiful hourglass figure. The lace is a really cool factor here because it adds texture without adding bulk. So I would definitely love to hug some great curves in this, um, and you have some girly accents in the skirt, and then a sexier neckline with the illusion detail. That dress, dress looks like it's ready for dancing. Yes, absolutely. It's nice and lightweight. So, so that could be a good second dress too for the reception because brides are doing that, getting a couple of dresses now. Yes, I love that. I love that trend. I think more is more. <laughs> and um, if you have the you know, financials to do it, I say go for it. <laughs> You're already such a successful um, bridal designer in Nordstrom. Yes, yeah, we're in Nordstrom, local bridal boutiques, all that jazz. Okay, so if you see some of the dresses that you like, you've, you are in boutiques here. All right, Ramona, I'm going to come back over to you. Simple Country Weddings and Vintage Decor. Thanks for designing all of this, but this is what you do for brides here in our area all the time. Absolutely. We do this every single day, and not just for weddings. We do um, baby showers and corporate events. That's good to know. So tell us a little bit about the, the seating that you have set up here. We actually brought our um, open French doors. Mm -hmm. Those are the most popular um, items that we have. Uh -huh. Every bride wants them. They're used for either their altar backdrop, um, they're used behind their sweetheart table, um, even the beginning, the entrance to the aisle for the ceremony. They're, it's just a great piece. And you can take those indoors, outdoors. Could you take them to a hotel in a banquet Absolutely, room? Absolutely, yes. Because sometimes the banquet rooms get a little stale. Actually, we're, we're moving them today to a banquet room. We have a, um, a wedding that we're setting up for today. Yeah, so they'll be used um, outside, and then we'll be moving them inside behind the sweetheart table. And over here, I love this little seating area. So 
so brides are setting up seating areas now. Absolutely, we're seeing a lot. I got married so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's almost been. Oh, it's been a long time getting, uh, getting up yes, there. Things are changing. We're seeing a lot of uh, lounge areas with mm -hmm. sofas and chairs. Um, such as pillows. Yes, pillows are fun. And then we're also seeing this behind the sweetheart table. So the bride and groom will sit in a sofa instead of just a regular um, chair. So much more comfortable. Yeah. And then what surprises me, I think, is the furniture. I mean, bringing in side tables and things like that. Yes, our, our hutches and buffets are used for not only um, sign in tables, mm -hmm. but dessert bars. We see a lot of use out of, our, um, out of our furniture. Ramona with Simple Country Weddings and Vintage Decor, one of our KCRA 3A list 2015 winners. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. Lots of ideas for wedding season.